Angora, ciao tutti. Welcome again to a look through some photographs that I took around Italy back in 2018. We're going to start off with this one, which is a view from the top of one of the um, towers in Bologna, um, of Bologna itself, unsurprisingly, since it's a tower in Bologna. Um, some things that are quite interesting in this photograph. Um, bottom left, that is the Cathedral of San Petronio. Um, if you've seen any of the other videos, you've seen photographs of that up close. Um, the sort of square in front of it is Piazza Maggiore. That hill in the very, very far distance um, with the uh, building on the top of the hill, that is the church that I went on a trip um, I walk all the way to the top of in an earlier episode um, to take photographs of up there um, of the city from that distance. Um, there should be a link at the top um, for that video if you haven't seen it and if you're interested in seeing that. So um, yeah, this photograph actually has a place that I took a photograph from in the distance. Not often you get that with me of uh, photographs where I was and then was not. Um, anyway, either way, I quite like this image because I think it's a nice nice view of the city itself. Um, gives you a nice kind of indication of what the city looks like. I mean, just look at the red brick, um, red roof tiles and everything. It, it, it looks old, doesn't it? It looks like an old city. It's, again, I will say it as usual. It's beautiful. It's a really beautiful place. Go visit Bologna. It's great. Here's the tower that that last photograph was taken from the top of. Um, in the last video I showed these towers again this is just a slightly different angle of the exact same shot basically um, if you do look in that video there's uh, I think like a tram line or something sort of a, an overhead wire in the way on the left hand side it isn't on this one so I've, I've obviously taken the photograph slightly from a different position um, the sky massively blown out because it's a bright sunny day and there's clouds and I've tried to make sure that the foreground is exposed properly as opposed to the sky so that's what's gonna happen um, yeah, it's a photograph of the towers. These are 800 years old, I think, um, off the top of my head. So, um, impressive, impressive things. Now, this is the kind of photography I really, really like to spend my time shooting. Um, just a bit of street photography, looking for some interesting places. Um, places that people probably wouldn't think to take a photograph of. So, yeah, this is just a random alleyway. You've got the big archway in the distance. You can see a bus going back in the going past in the in the background mostly dark in the in the foreground and everything because you know it's a narrow alleyway and the light is coming straight down the middle and then you've got that figure of that woman walking towards us um i'm proud of this i really really like this photograph um there's an awful lot to like about it i think shame is a little bit dark on the right hand side under the awning of that um, i think it's a cafe or something see the red awning there but you can just about make out like a street light on the right hand side off the side of the building you've got the uh that, that, that sign on the on the left as well um yeah i just i just really quite like this <laughs> tell me if you like it too here's another one which i don't think worked quite as well if i'm honest with you but it's it's still one i i quite like um the left hand side there um is the i believe it's the city hall building correct me if i'm wrong um but there's a museum in there somewhere as well which unfortunately it was closed when i wanted to go in there which is a shame i like to go to museums um, in all these places that i go to visit um but yeah just in the distance um, at the back of this image is uh, Piazza Maggiore so this is just off to the just off down a, down a streetway away from there um, again a little bit dark in the foreground because you know you've got the light coming down it's a relatively narrow well I say relatively narrow I mean there's parking on the left hand side and there's a guy coming down on a bicycle and it's it, it's not actually that narrow is it um, but um, it's it's narrow because of the height of the buildings and the walls and everything on the sides that that's probably what it is really um, again shame it's a little bit dark in the foreground but um, I still quite like it. it it's got some interesting architecture in the image I would say that. okay we're not in Bologna anymore we are in Modena um, in fact to be specific we are in the uh, Museo del Enzo Ferrari in uh, Modena which is a museum about the life of you guessed it Enzo Ferrari the guy who created the Ferrari car brand um, yeah, I think the museum is based in the house he was born in. I don't think he lived in it really, um, but it's still quite interesting. A uh, lot of lot of cars, a lot of old cars, lots of Ferrari stuff, unsurprisingly. Um, I mean, if you're into cars and into Ferrari stuff, then you're going to like this place. Um, weirdly, um, 
a three, there's three museums that are connected to this. Uh, I didn't go to them all because they, they're not all in Modena. One's a bit away and then another one's in another town again. Um, so there's this one, which is about Enzo Ferrari. There's the Ferrari Museum itself in Maranello, which is about, um, well, obviously about the cars, uh, the, the company itself, rather than the man, which this one is. And then a Pavarotti Museum. And I, I don't know why the Pavarotti Museum is linked to these two, other than the fact that Pavarotti was from the general area. Um, so I'm guessing that maybe the company that runs those Ferrari museums also runs the Pavarotti one. But um, yeah, I, I really wish I'd gone to the Pavarotti one now I think about it, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, I never got, never got the chance. Um, anyway, this is a car. <laughs> this is an old car. I have no idea what this car is. It might be that it was like a car that perhaps Enzo Ferrari or his, or his parents owned, or it's maybe just a wreck reproduction of one. I haven't got a bloody clue to be honest with you. Um, a lot of the photographs in this, if you don't like cars, skip to the end because you're not going to enjoy this. A room of engines. <laughs> um, I don't know why I took this photograph. I don't think this is very good at all. It's just a photograph of a bunch of engine blocks on plinths. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's a nice reflection from the window in the in the floor, I guess. Other than that, nah, not not much going for this, is there? Oh no, that's a beauty, isn't it? Look at that. Um, taking photos inside of this building was a little bit more difficult. It was quite dark. I'm shooting Ektar here, and. I mean, you probably know as well as I do, Ektar loves light, Ektar loves sunlight, Ektar loves being outside. Indoors, it's a bit more difficult to shoot with and get something usable. Um, this is probably about the uh, limit of what I could do with it. There's an image coming up in a second that's absolutely garbage. <laughs> so uh, be prepared for that one. Um, but isn't this a beautiful car? Um, you can tell as well from kind of the depth of field how wide open I'm having to shoot this to get this. This is at the full the full f3.5 that my Yashica can, can do wide open and um, it drops off quite dramatically in the distance. I mean, those people just next to the car are completely out of focus. It's, um, it's a beautiful car, isn't it? It's beautiful. There's the image I said was going to come up with this garbage and it is. Don't know what to say about that, is it? I mean, it's it's a Formula One car. I believe it is uh, Kimi Raikkonen's one from maybe 2007. I don't know exactly, but that would make sense since that's the year that he won the F1 Championship with Ferrari. Um, it was definitely Kimi Raikkonen's car, put it that way. So I guess that makes sense. Oh, more engines. <laughs> um, Maybe this is a bit more interesting than the last one, just because you've got kind of a disappearing line off into the distance with, with the engines leading off. And then you've got that car, the, the, the first photograph from the museum um, of that car in the distance there as well. I guess you get like, you can see all the windows and the lights and the reflections and everything. And I'm, I mean, it shows you what this particular room in the museum looked like. But um, other than that, it's not got a lot going for it otherwise, has it? Okay, here's the outside of uh, that building. I think the last one, actually. I think this is the outside of that particular room. Um, I just I just like the architecture of, of the building itself. Unfortunately, I don't think I've captured it in quite the way that I wanted to. Um, but there we go. Um, you've obviously got the prancing horse uh, emblem there, a Ferrari on the window etched on. Um, you know, the, uh, <laughs> the sign on the side of that building. I don't know if that's an original sign. I don't think it is. Um, I'm pretty sure this building fell into disuse before then being bought up by Enzo Ferrari himself many, many years later. So I don't think that's the original sign written on there with his father's name. But um, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know if it is. Um, other than that, mm, it's all right, isn't it? Here's a juxtaposition of images. Um, you've got the old building there on the left and the modern building on the right. Um, they couldn't look more different if they tried, could they? <laughs> the one on the right actually looks more like an entrance to a modern airport or something, doesn't it? Um, and then all these flags just in front. It's a shame that I didn't take this a little bit further back. So I, I've cut the top off one of the flagpoles and the bottom off the flagpole as well. Um, it sort of almost blocks out the word Ferrari as well, which is stupid of me. I, I've rushed this image for some reason. Um, but yeah, a, a nice juxtaposition of modern and, uh, and and old in this, I think. And we're going to finish this video on a picture of an engine again. 
<laughs> oh, again, I apologise. If you're not into cars and not into things like Ferrari and engines and stuff like that, this must have been boring for you. But um, I am. Um, I'm not quite into engines as much as I think I am because I don't really know why I took this photograph and I wouldn't take this photograph again. I suppose it's interesting. I mean, design-wise, if you're into that kind of thing, cool. Um, yeah. Anyway, as usual, thanks very much for watching. Um, if if you enjoyed this, thank you. <laughs> if not, I promise it's not all pictures of cars. There are pictures of nice things around these Italian cities I photograph instead. Please go check out the others, um, the other videos. Um, there's plenty of other videos on the channel as well. So, um, you know, like and subscribe if you, if you want to carry on. And um, until next time, thanks very much. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.